In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a RAG chatbot with N8N and Supabase in under 8 minutes. You will learn how to create a vector database using Supabase. You will also see how to use Google Drive to automatically add multiple files into the database. Then we'll use those files to build a FAQ chatbot that can answer questions about menus, policies, manuals, or anything you upload. If you don't know what RAG is, it stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. It's a method where an AI searches your data for relevant information before generating a response, making answers accurate and up to date. First, I'll show you the chatbot in action so you know exactly what it does. Then we'll set up the workflow in N8N step by step. By the end, you'll have your own production ready AI agent that works 24 7, pulling answers directly from your files. Before we start, let's do a quick demo. I've uploaded some documents to our vector store with details about a fake restaurant called Freddy Pizza Hub. We'll ask the agent, what are your operating hours and what are the current specials? We will send this off and wait. While it is running, I want to mention that both of the workflows we will go over today are available for download in my school community. The link for that will be in the description. You will download the JSON file, come up here, import from file, and have everything up and running. And if you're a small business looking to have me implement and build out these systems for you, you can find the details in the description. Okay, let's take a look and see what the AI agent has to say. We have, we're open Monday to Thursday from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to midnight, and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Last orders are 30 minutes before closing, and delivery cutoff is one hour before close on Fridays and Saturdays. It also returned the specials, two for Tuesday, buy any medium pizza, family combo feast on Fridays, free delivery Fridays. We can also take a quick look at the AI agent's node. Let's go into the logs. As you can see, the agent queries for operation hours and Supabase returns the data under times. The agent also asked for the current specials. And as you can see, Supabase returns all data related to promotions. Head over to N8N and click on create new workflow. For this video, we are going to use a manual trigger, but in the future, you can always use a listening trigger, which will then go into the Google Drive folder and check if there are any files loaded into the folder. That way it will automatically trigger. However, for the purpose of this video, we are just going to use a manual trigger. Next, we require a Google Drive node so that we can extract the data from the folder. Then, under Actions, select Search Files and Folders. Once again, make sure that you set up your credentials. If you haven't yet set up your credentials, I have a video dedicated specifically to credential setup, so you can click the link below. Once you have the credentials, click Save and Continue. For resource, make sure it's set to Files and Folders. The operation has to be Search, and the search method should again be Files and Folder Names. Don't do anything under search query. We also need to add some filters. Under filter, select the Google Drive folder that I showed you. Then click return all data and execute this step. As you can see, it returns the IDs and names of the files. We're going to require these because the IDs are very important for the next step. Now let's add another Google Drive node. This time, select download a file. Remember, I mentioned that the IDs are important. This is where we extract the ID and add it into the file ID field in order to download the files. Please take note of the file type. The file comes out as binary data. This is extremely important for the next step, because if we don't know the file type, uh, it's going to be very difficult to proceed. Next, we're going to add a looping node. This node will take the files one by one. Each time it runs, it will take one file, then add it into our Supabase database. Once it's done vectorizing the file, it will come back for the next one, and so on. Now, let's add the Supabase node, the vector database. Search for Supabase, then select Vector Store. For the action, select Add a Document. If you haven't set up credentials yet, click Create New. Go to Supabase and click Create New Project. If you don't have an account yet, sign up first. Once you're logged in, click Create New Project, then enter your project name. I'll name the project F8 Demo. Next, set a password and choose the region closest to you. In this example, I'll select USA West North Carolina as the region. Ensure that Data API plus connection strings are enabled and Postgres is selected, but the default data settings are fine. Finally, click Create. Once the database is created, go to the SQL editor. Head over to the link below, Copy the code and paste it here. All this code does is enable vectors on Supabase and create a table called Documents. If you want to change the name of the table, simply replace Documents with your preferred name throughout the code. For this training, I recommend leaving it as Documents. The embedding vector should be 1000 or 1536. Then click Run. You'll need to click it twice before it runs. Once the rows have been successfully entered, go back to the home page and scroll down to Connecting Your Project. Copy the project URL and API key, then paste them into N8N. Rename the credential, I'm calling mine F8 Demo. Click Save, and your Supabase credentials and database will be set up. Now we're ready for the next step. Exit out and make sure the operation is set. For the table, it should pre-populate as Documents. Leave the embedding batch as 200. Under Query Name, add the name of the restaurant or the documents you'll be querying. This makes it easier to distinguish and helps the agent retrieve documents efficiently. 
Next, we need to add an embedding. For this, we'll use OpenAI. Select the module text embedding 3 small. If you haven't connected your API credentials, I have a video for that as well. Just head over to OpenAI API, copy your API keys and paste them in. We also need a document loader. Select the default data loader. Remember the file type? Change the type to binary data instead of JSON. If you select JSON, nothing will load. The mode should be load all data and the format should be automatic. For the text splitter, choose recursive character. Text splitter instead of a token splitter. This allows the data to be vectorized in chunks, making it easier for the agent to understand and retrieve information. The final step in this part is to close the loop and run it. As you can see, the data is now loaded into our vector database, processed through the document loader, vectorized, and stored. Now let's create a mini chat to communicate with the data. In N8N, create a new workflow. You can use WhatsApp, Telegram, or connect it to a restaurant agent. For this example, we'll use an on chat trigger. Then select an AI agent and leave everything as is. We need to add a system message. Copy the one from the community and paste it in. It states, You are Freddy, a smart, friendly assistant for Freddy Pizza Hub, a local pizza restaurant. You help customers via WhatsApp with anything related to the restaurant. Your knowledge comes from a connected vector database that includes the menu, prices, and special offers. Basically, all the documents we have added. Your job is to use info from the database and respond in a casual, helpful manner, like chatting with a friendly store manager. You can pause the video and copy this message. Next, add an OpenAI node using GPT-4.1. Add simple memory so the agent remembers previous conversations. Set the context length to 10. Under Tools, add the vector database. Select our SuperBase credentials and choose Retrieve Document from the Documents table. You can copy a description message from the community explaining that the database contains up-to-date information on menu pricing, promotions, loyalty programs, hours, delivery policies, and refund policies. Label it Restaurant Knowledge Base. Set the limit to 20 and skip re-ranking for now. Make sure the embedding matches the one used for vectorizing. Text embedding 3 small. Now test it. Open the chat, greet the agent, and ask, Can I have the full menu? You'll see it retrieve data directly from the vector database and display the correct menu. And there you have it. This is how you set up a RAG AI agent using Supabase and N8N. If you want to learn more, join my community by clicking the link in the description below.